and hey guys. So today I'm going to be filming some Go Go to tutorial videos. Always remember if you're trying to level up to get that XP brain over here. And you're always going to want to take a look at the lucky weapon. You're probably going to want, I prefer to take a Mavin as a shotgun or a new Havoc. Those are those are good too. Um, I always like to get my heal as one of the new slurp juices. My main weapon, I really like, I really, I really like scars. And let's see. If you want to add like a, like a good AR, like one of this, this is a good one. Or this one. And then if you're kind of like a boogie bomb person, you can do that. Bomb them, make them dance while you kill them. And then I recommend just like standing here in the corner trying to snipe. Doesn't really help with the new white, bright white light that appears. But when it all comes down to storm, you're probably going to want to take a launch pad. Go, it, go to somewhere on the map without other players. And then if you're in real trouble and you really need to protect yourself, I like to make what I call a protection build. I just build around me, then I can edit my way out, stand behind it, and make a stronger one if I really need this. And when you're out of shield and go goaded, the strategy is to get to that marsh that uh um mushroom in the center. It will give you full shield no matter what shield you're at. And I really prefer that as a fast automated and really easy to shoot name. Um but this AR is like very good for just trying to hit somebody, get them low. I like the heavy sniper rifles because one shot to the head and they're dead. One shot to the build and the build's broken. And then this scar is it's just an altogether classic. It's amazing. It's an OG weapon. It's great to kill people. And that's probably what you're going to want to use as your main gun. And then the slurp juice is good because you can go in storm and bam just gonna kill ourselves a little bit but look at so if you're in the storm you find yourself in trouble but you can't come in right away then you're gonna and if you drink a slurp juice it will start healing you as you're dying so sure it'll keep me it'll keep you maintained at a certain health and it'll slowly slowly go up and then once you get back in the circle you just rapidly heal until you're back to full health and that's why I like the um, the slurp juices. Also, they have a time limit on them. Unlike floppers, which just give you a certain amount of health. That's why I also prefer them. Also, it's good when somebody is trying to come to your base and you're not ready. If you set a spike trap, it will kill them in one hit. It's a very good weapon to use. I recommend setting it for people who like to rush into your base and try to kill you while you're picking weapons. And... where you snipe because if you're in your base and you're sniping and you miss like that then that person's aware that you're sniping at them from where and they will be more careful and they will be sniping you now and I do like to just build around when there's la when they're when you're le like low in the game like when you're almost when you're almost done with the game there's not many people left I do like to build more yeah and so all together, that's pretty much just the strategy of Go Goated. Um, next video I make, I might do some more Go Goated. 
Next one, I think I'm going to do the pit. I think, yeah, I think it'll be the pit free for all that I do next. It's it's a good practice, but you should watch some more of my YouTube videos. And yeah, we're gonna be trying we're gonna be trying some more content on Fortnite, trying to do all that. And well, see you later, guys.